In today's tutorial, we'll use brush pen and a whole lot of scribbles to draw wisteria hanging over a lovely garden gate. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we get creative together. And today's video is all about scribbles and messy brush marks and turning those scribbles into something pretty. We're going to create this wisteria garden gate illustration. I'm just working in my bullet journal. Got a few brush pens, a pencil, and some fine liners. That's all you need. And here's how we're going to get started. We begin with our pencil and we're going to kind of sketch out a map of what the illustration will look like. So first part is how large the illustration is going to be. I'm marking out a rectangle. Everything will be contained within that rectangle. Then I'm marking where the halfway spot is and I'm drawing a little arch for the gate. And then we need walls beside the gate and a little arch above it. So I'm just sort of messy sketching that in. There's going to be some wisteria hanging from the gate. We'll put some bushes in front and a tree up in behind. Remember, this is just all scribbles and messy. We're creating a map. And then I erase a lot of that map because I don't want those pencil marks there when I begin working in brush pen. And speaking of, I am grabbing a really light purple and I just scribble in these long linear bits and that will be my wisteria. You want to leave a little space in between there but it is just scribbles. Then I'm using a lighter brown and I'm going to just do some long thin lines very scribbly to color in that door. Next up we move on to the rose bushes in front and I do these spiral or circular scribbles to place roses. And that's really all the roses are, just spirals and scribbles. And then up next in our scribble marathon is the tree up above. And you can see how I do it kind of in these layers of very bulbous spirally sp scribbles. <laughs> so many scribbles. Moving on, I grabbed a lighter green and I'm filling in the rose bushes. I did some little linear marks right at the bottom and then to surround the flowers, I just did these messy, chunky brush marks. It's truly just sort of one hit of the brush against the page. And it's a great way to fill in space where you don't just want to kind of color around the pink because it's going to look kind of childlike if you do that. Then we're layering with a warmer green, same thing, lines at the bottom, just one hit of the brush all around those flowers. And finally you do the same thing with a darker green. So three greens are built up there to make those bushes really come alive. I added a bit of the darker green to the tree. And let's see, let's add a little bit of brown to the path. For that one, we won't do so much uh, scribbles as just some linear messy lines. And finally, we come to the wall behind the wisteria, the garden wall. I'm using kind of a medium gray to just scribble in some rounded squares to make the look of stone. And I'm kind of filling in that arch just a little behind the purple flowers. Once I'm happy with that, I'll take my light warm gray and we're going to just color in the rest of that wall. Just scribbles, messy, don't go over the purple, try to go around it. And we'll complete the first layer of this entire drawing by filling in the sky. You can layer a couple blues and just do those horizontal lines. And you might wanna layer a second lighter brown on that path. And then at this point, we've colored in everything. We've layered a little bit on the bush and on the tree. We wanna continue that layering now and for some of that I'm going to be utilizing my dual tip markers and working with the smaller uh, brush pen and in this case I'm doing a really thin spiral on all of the roses and this is what we're going to do now we're going to keep building up and layering darker purple scribbles on top of the wisteria and darker brown scribbles on the gate and maybe some more dark green on the tree so just just keep layering, just keep scribbling, have fun with it. If you have some dual tip markers, it's a good time to use that smaller um, bullet uh, head and do some detail work, but don't get too detailed. This is still supposed to be scribbly. Like on the wall, I'm outlining the bricks. I'm putting some little dots. I'm doing some little X markings on the path to make it look like mulch. These are the little fun choices you get to make as the artist. So just have fun and scribble your little heart out. <laughs> 
Now for my favorite part, we're gonna grab a couple fine liners. You can use a Sharpie, a Mulatto black liner like I have, a Pigma Micron, really any artist pen. And we are going to add a little bit of detail with that sketchy black line. This is when you get to bring everything to life and make those scribbles just look a little more detailed. If it looks like a hot mess at this point, don't worry about it. I think we can still save it. You know, I think we can still make it look like a garden gate covered in wisteria. We're going to outline the frame mean that we initially sketched in. We're going to outline all of the roses with a little circle or rough spiral. I'll add some detail to some of the bushes by drawing in some leaves. I did some sketchy bits on the gate. I'm adding a bit of shading just with some long thin lines at the bottom of the garden wall and drawing some little scribbles on the wisteria. You know, I'm really just getting very sketchy and messy about it and a little bit crazy and, and I'm having fun and anywhere I need a little more dark green, I can add that in and I just bring the whole drawing to life at this point. And um, anywhere you need a bit of extra detail, you just go ahead, right ahead and add it. Once that's done, you may have a few spots where you feel like, oh, I need a little more purple or green here. You really want everything quite filled in. You want this to be a big, wash of color in your journal and I think my tree just needs a little more lively <laughs> bit so I'm going to take a white gel pen and add a few cutesy flowers and then she's done you guys my wisteria garden gate journal illustration the scribble masterpiece is complete I hope you'll try this for yourself it's very freeing to work in scribbles and save it at the end with that artist pen thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button it helps me out so much and I'll see you soon